in the sun-dappled hills of Montecito, California, where the rich and famous have long sought refuge from the glare of the spotlight, a new chapter of unease has unfolded. The tranquil community, once a hallmark of privacy and exclusivity, has been thrust into the center of a security crisis, all because of the revelations in Prince Harry's recent Netflix documentary. The documentary, which delved into the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's decision to step back from royal life and relocate to the picturesque town, was intended to offer a glimpse into their quest for a more private existence. But in the process, it has unleashed a torrent of unsubstantiated tabloid claims that have shaken the foundations of Montecito's carefully cultivated sense of security. We've never seen anything like this before, says John Doe, the chief of police for the Montecito Police Department. The documentary may have been meant to provide insight, but it's inadvertently opened the floodgates to a wave of rumors and speculation that have put our community at risk. The impact of these unverified claims has been immediate and far-reaching. In the wake of the documentary's release, local authorities have been inundated with reports of suspicious activity, heightened tensions, and even threats directed at the town's residents. Faced with this escalating situation, the Montecito Police Department has been forced to take drastic action, dispatching additional security forces to patrol the streets and safeguard the community. It's a sad state of affairs, laments Jane Smith, a longtime Montecito resident. We moved here to escape the constant glare of the spotlight, to find a haven of tranquility and privacy. And now, because of something that was essentially hearsay, we're being thrust back into the very thing we were trying to avoid. The security overhaul in Montecito is a testament to the power of the media and the far-reaching impact of even the most seemingly innocuous claims. The documentary's portrayal of the town as a haven for the rich and famous has long been a source of fascination for the public, but the latest developments have laid bare the very real consequences of propagating unverified tabloid stories. It's deeply frustrating, says Chief Doe. We've seen a significant uptick in reported incidents since the documentary aired, from trespassing and harassment to more serious threats. It's clear that the unsubstantiated rumors and speculation have taken a toll on the community's sense of safety and well-being. The deployment of additional security forces has not come without its own set of challenges, however. Residents have expressed concerns about the heightened presence of law enforcement, fearing that it may inadvertently attract more attention and disrupt the very peace and privacy they sought to protect. It's a delicate balance, acknowledges Chief Doe. We want to ensure the safety and security of our residents, but we also recognize the need to maintain the town's character and preserve the tranquility that drew so many people here in the first place. It's a constant juggling act, but we're committed to finding the right approach. As the security situation in Montecito continues to evolve, the broader implications of the documentary's impact are also coming into focus. Some experts have raised concerns about the potential for the unverified claims to inspire copycat behavior, with the possibility of other high-profile individuals or communities becoming the targets of similar tabloid-fueled threats. It's a disturbing trend that we're seeing more and more, warns Dr. Sarah Johnson, a media and communications professor at the local university. The spread of misinformation and the weaponization of tabloid rumors can have very real and very dangerous consequences. It's not just about the celebrities or public figures, it's about the innocent people whose lives are disrupted and put at risk. For the residents of Montecito, the hope is that the heightened security measures will provide a sense of reassurance and allow them to reclaim the peace and tranquility that once defined their community. But the lingering question remains, at what cost?